Hello everyone, I want to look at adding silence into a track. So say I've recorded a guitar track, especially if I'm recording, say, a distorted or high gain track. What can sometimes happen when I move between chords or move around the fretboard is I'll get some unwanted noise, some inherent sort of a squeak, um, a harmonic, um, an overtone or something that I don't particularly want in my audio event. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, sometimes... It's a human instrument, we want it to sound human, and these things can be really cool to have, but it can also be the case that some things can really stick out when you're listening against other instruments and you just don't want that noise. So I use this a lot. Um, so what we're gonna do is make a shortcut for silence. Now, I do that by clicking Edit, go to Key Commands, and then what I'm going to do is look at what I've made for silence, my shortcut. I'll show you how to make this um, shortcut. So up here in this box here, I'm going to write silence. And then I'm going to click the little add. The first one is insert silence, which I don't want. Ah, here you go. Under my second one, I've got it under processes. And we've got silence. So as you can see, my key command at the moment is Alt S. The way I made that was I clicked in here type in key so I clicked alt and s and you can see it's created it for me here and then I just press assign and it creates it up here now as soon as you okay that you're ready to go with your shortcut so this will work for anything but this is for silence so using the G and H I find this tool very useful in Cubase so expanding out horizontally or minimizing horizontally say here we had this chord going to this chord and in between here was a bit of unwanted noise as I was changing between chords or note or whatever it doesn't matter what it is I'm going to press 2 on my keypad for this object selection cursor and then I can actually then surgically choose by moving this this um, highlighted area the area I want to silence now by pressing alt and s which is the shortcut I made there you go, it's created the silence. Now, things to consider, I'm just going to control Z that a minute. If you've got snap on, which is up here, when it's snapping to a bar, you can see because I've zoomed in a lot, it won't let me do that. So you could change that to quantize to one eighth of a bar if you wanted, but it's still quite jumpy for when you want to be more surgical with those choices. So I generally take snap off. Now, you can either use the cursor to do that or you can use J on your keypad for snap on and off so J is a great tool for initiating snap and disabling it the other thing up here this is worth having on snap to zero crossing I think of that as being a very quick fade in and fade out so it will stop when you've made a silence it, if it's in a noisy area it will kind of do you a quick fade and a quick fade in and out so it'll stop any unwanted clicks or things like that if you if you create your silence so it's definitely worth having a snap to zero crossing on and I prefer to have snap off therefore using my G, um, G and H tool so H to zoom out I can then choose very precisely just by dragging to the left or right the area of audio I want to silence I've created my shortcut as Alt S obviously you can do anything you want with that click it and that's created your silence and it can be a great way um, of cleaning up your audio if you've got sort of it could be breaths in a vocal line that you you didn't want or it could be some noise outside whatever it may be you want to get rid of it quickly create your own shortcut and it can be a real time saver okay good luck